Hello, and today we've got my son Matthew having a look at some games today. Uh, we're going to have a look at a few Xbox 360 games from around about 2010-ish, uh, um, which would make you about four years old, wouldn't it? So, uh, it's going to be kind of a comparison from, well, from my point of view, it would be like going back from the Mega Drive to the Master System. So for you it would be... Like the PS3 games, PS4 games, PS2 yeah. and all that. So, yeah, for you going back from new systems to the old system, yeah. so let's see how they hold up I suppose. So we're going to start off with uh, Batman Arkham Asylum um, uh, and see how well this is holding up today. Yeah. Okay, so with this one we got the Joker who's taken over the Asylum um, and uh, I'm getting shot to shit. <laughs> yeah, so your job is to clean up the area and take everyone out, but the problem is I'm going to die now. Like that. Yeah. It's just like, you've got to find stealth way in, I mean, isn't it? There's... The graphic wise, I mean, this is, is really good, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I remember when it came out. And uh, it, it was just a huge game. It won so many awards. Yeah. I, 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 it, to be fair, looking at it, it, look, it looks a good game. Um, the way you play, and the way it's just like made out of the Two batarangs in, and he's still got back up. I salute my fallen Do you know who voiced the Joker in this? No, I don't think I do. It's uh, Mark Hamill, which Mark Hamill. you might know as Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Does a very good job of it. See, yeah, this, this is the hard part. It's like, we've got. Good. I've been Gotta get in there without them seeing you, but it's hard. Yeah. I mean, do I need to come this way? I'm in the right place. Yeah, I have got to get through there. She got the back door. Yeah. I stealthily get this guy here. He's just not in there now. Like you wouldn't hear that. Someone being yeah. smacked in the back of the head. Yeah. Easy. How do we not hear you jumping down then? That's the thing. He's Batman. So the controls are pretty good. Yeah. Um, I have noticed since playing like uh, Arkham City, mm. it's not as easy to control. Yeah. I, mean, I just press counter then and I still got smacked. But the combat is, is awesome. Yeah, I find it. I find it. I think the way you just take down the enemies is like. Yeah, well, if you press counter, you go to the next enemy. Yeah. And then you just you keep going between the enemies. There's a supply of explosive gel in the trunk of the Batmobile. Collect explosives. I may need it. So what did you find kind of irritating on this game? Just the way you're going around like places. Because you've got to try and find where you go out, don't you? 
Yeah. But, um, obviously when I started playing it, I was thinking like, on one part um, inside the building, I was trying to think where I was going, but I couldn't find it. And that's when I stopped playing it, because I was like, I'm just going to be stuck on that for ages. Yeah. I'm, I'm never going to get it completed. So with, with um, like more modern games, you'll have like a, yeah. a marker on the screen, yeah. which you, you rotate and follow, where this doesn't. Yeah. So you kind of got to keep going back to your map. Mm. And then just keep checking. Go into the detective mode. I'll look for something. Strange. What is that one? This is Gordon's pipe. Barbara gave it to him. There's no way he'd leave it. Nicotine. So a lot of this is detective work, isn't it? You've got to scan yeah, to see where the, the environment, scan different things, and follow. Okay, going on tracking you. I found a spot. It has your father's initials carved on it. Yeah. Would he really be dropping all this tobacco everywhere? That's how you drop Maybe he's just really crap at loading a pipe up, you don't know. Really. <laughs> oh, the blue one's on the back. <laughs> I think it's because you've got that scan on it, it should look like a... She's leading into that door there. You can't pick up their weapons. I don't know, I'm just trying to work out the bullet controls. It's saying right trigger and Y to take down. Yeah, it's a ground. I'm going to get me a kicked in by someone else. Yeah. That's why it's easy when you've got one person or two people. You take one down and there's like six of us there. Just to attack back on you. Boom. <laughs> what are they, them people? They're all the inmates, aren't they? Oh. Uh, the asylum has been opened up to everyone. go to the door behind you, I think. This is the part I got stuck on last time. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, like, right. I, I had to climb around a building and like and I couldn't find where I had to go. Oh, it's her. Harley Quinn. Hey, She's got quite a lot of the uh, the the bad guys in it. Yeah. All the way through the game from what I remember. Uh, lots of sneaking around to do it, so I think it's a, a really good game. But yeah. you you say well I agree with you actually the the fact that you sometimes do get stuck and don't know where to go. I mean, you do use your map, but even in them cases, it, it's not always crystal clear what you need to do. But still a good game, though. Okay, next up is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, this came out, what was it, 2010? Uh, yeah. So that would make you four. So again, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have played this. Right. So this is this is based around the Second World War, I think. Yeah. Um, and I always thought this was the second game in the whole series. Yeah. But it turns out it isn't. It's uh, the tenth game. Uh, yeah, I think it is. So there must have been PS2 versions of it. Yeah. Uh, I know there was a PC version, which was, I think was the original Battlefield. Yeah. I think one and two were there. But I always thought with this being, what's it say, Bad Company 2, I always yeah. thought that this was the sequel to Battlefield. So I had Battlefield Bad Company 1 yeah. and 2, and then I thought Battlefield 3 came after this, but it didn't. It did not make it confusing. I know. It's like, I don't know why they bring out so many games, because they just make it confusing for everyone. They just like, like, it annoys people, because you see there's like so many more games. Yeah. Obviously you have to buy more and more of them. 
it's just it's complicated. I suppose it's no different with um, Black Ops, is it? Yeah. You've, you've got Call of Duty 1, 2, but then you've also got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, yeah. 2, and so on. Like, yeah. And they just make out, I bet, I'm guessing they make out loads of games just to excite everyone, I'm guessing. Just to make everyone happy about like, all the game people. I suppose we would adaptively add, like, Battlefield 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. 9, 10. That's I suppose gone. they've just oh, categorised it, haven't they, into yeah. like World War ones and modern warfare. Yeah. It's just really complicated though. But I mean, this looks pretty good. Yeah. For a, a ten year old, I suppose. Mm. It's this part that really annoys me because like you can't you, you see on the bed and you can barely kill them. Like look how they aim it. That's the thing that really annoys me in this game. Because, like, Is it hard to It's really hard lock to control onto. yeah, it's really, it's easy to lock on but it's hard to control it. You just can't you can't control the best of everything. It's like So now we move on to the, um, I think it's the ice, I, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a winter wonderland, that's yes. what it is. winter. It looks really nice and though. Nice, and there's so nice guns you've got though. Well this, this gun's better than the rifle, is it, that you started off with? Yes, oh. definitely. Oh my god. Squeeze. I mean, going from PS2 to this yeah. is a huge jump because I think the the PS2 graphics were very blocky, weren't they? Yeah, kind of. This is more detailed, at least. So I've got the other one that I just think I just didn't play. Let's get to position. Okay, this is like, see when you get into like more parts of the game, it looks more better because like of how clear it is. But definitely, the graphics are good. Yeah, it looks really good. So around this time, maybe a bit earlier, they were starting to introduce uh, destructible environments. Yeah. Whereas original, you know, years ago, you wouldn't be able to destroy like windows and stuff like that. You know, what you saw is what you got. Yeah. Like black on the PS2. Yeah. That I am had destructible environment, which was ahead of its time really, it was mm. a hell of a game, and you used to play that quite a lot, but you don't remember it do you? Mm, which one? Black. Uh, no, I don't think I'm playing So what's the, the targeting like on this, is it, uh, can you actually hit an enemy when you want to, or is it, does it lock onto an enemy when you aim? I think it lock, it, lo it doesn't lock onto, I think it works. Now, there, aren't you? <laughs> except tank, I don't expect it. I don't expect the tank. It's tank, right? I think it's the the tank with the machine gun, a grenade launcher. Press the D-pad left, okay. Well, it feels a very sluggish in compared, you know, yeah, compared to the ones I've pre played previously. Oh, shit. It's hard to aim on. 
hate it when you have to open it. Shooting at you. There's death. One on the top part of the house. I'm gonna get a shot. I'm gonna die. It's a really good game, it's obviously when it's hard to control. It seems very sluggish. Like, yeah. I know Call of Duty, when you press aim, it, it snaps straight to it. Yeah. RPG. And every time you get near someone, you have to reload. There's ammo crates as well if you, if you need to get It's just weird control in it though. That's the... I think you get used to it though. Yeah. And I think at the time when this came out, this was well advanced than... Um, your PS2 controls. Yeah. So I think this would be like really good to control. Because we're used to more modern systems. We're just picking faults at it. Yeah. When it wouldn't actually be that bad of it, I suppose. I'm gonna shot from all angles. I hate the people with RPGs and it annoys me so much. Can't protect yourself from them. Yeah. Anyway, we're dead on that. Yeah. Um, any good? Oh, it's good. It's good? Really good. Really good? Really good, yes. Really good. I, I find it good. Um, yeah. Obviously with the it's an improvement from the first one. It's just a control the of the one. gun. Yeah, control of the gun's a bit naff. Um, but I think, given time, you'd get used to that. I yeah. think I think it would be a pretty good game to go through again. Mm. Mm. If you complete it all and actually get like useful the gun control and it'll actually be good then. Yeah. So you can review it over a time and just do that. Yeah. Right, next one. Okay, now we have Need for Speed the Run. Which is uh, we don't know yet. But it could be better than all the other games. And plus it was made in two thousand eleven, which I would have still been five. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you need a calculator? Uh, no. Yeah, you would have been five when this came out. Yeah. Um, this came after Hot Pursuit, which I find is an incredible game. Because uh, that was made by Criterion, which as we know, did Burnout. Yeah. Which is actually such a good game. We, they're epic games. I just love playing Takedown though. Takedown is awesome. One of the best games that I actually enjoy playing. And you can see elements of that in uh, Hot Pursuit. This one wasn't done by Criterion, but uh, it still looks very similar. Yeah. <laughs> the whole point of this is you go from one point of the country to the other. Mm. But if you want to get to the next one, you have to get 150th place. Yeah, you've got to get certain positions. If you fail to make those positions, then you again, haven't you? Yeah, 7.4. <coughs> now, how many Need for Speed games do you think came before this? 16. 18. 18. 18 games of Need for Speed came before this. Jeez. I didn't think it would be that many. I thought it was probably like seven. Yeah, you'd always think like for one game they'd bring out a little amount, so like four or five. But they've got out 18 of them. Well, the thing is, the I'm, I'm trying to think of the one that. It had like a picture of a Lamborghini wheel on the front. Yeah. I don't know what his system it was on. Hmm. Well, sometimes it isn't like the same. Is it? Some of the games are made like from the same company all the time, aren't they? Yeah, they normally stick to the same one. Yeah. I mean, 
definite criterion had to go with, and they just made a belting job of it. It was just very arcade-like, you know. Yeah. Because this is more story-related. Yeah. So you actually should play for Most Wanted in that, and uh, I think it was um, Underground. Yeah, and he, I know you like Most Wanted. Yeah. And a lot of other people have said Most Wanted is a, a really good game, yet I thought it was crap. Yeah. I didn't like it in the slightest. Yeah. I loved, um, what was just talking about, um, Underground. Yeah. When that came out. I think that was, I think that was 1998 that came out. Yeah. I remember it was on my birthday. It's been out for a long time then. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I remember it was around that time. Yeah. And uh, it was influenced by um, what film was it? Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Or the other way around. I can't remember now. Maybe it wasn't 1998. It came out. Maybe it was 2001. Probably. I'm not sure. Some of the <coughs> some of the games are a bit. Need to speak me. It's just they come out in like later years. And it's like some of them came out in two thousands, and lots of them like in the nineteen. Well, they don't every every other year, don't they? They make different ones, but yeah. They uh, they did a film for uh, Need for Speed, didn't they? Did you ever watch that? No. Um, with Aaron Paul in it, and I think it was kind of kind of loosely based around this game because yeah. he had to. Go point to point, I think. Yeah. See, obviously, this this game is good because of the point to point. It helps you out. Because <coughs> obviously, just other games you go around tracks, don't you? Yeah. Is um, most racing games are track based, or if <coughs> they're not track based, then yeah. it kind of has a track around a city that you've got to follow. Yeah. Whereas this is just a straightforward run. See, if you compare this, like all the games that are out now, like Forza Horizon, yeah. Forza Motorsports, and all that. And it's it's like saying people are saying like all oh, them games are good now. So except for Forza Horizon Four. Yeah. Or like three and But you played that? Um I've played it before, yeah. I've played that next I've not played them. I think I had number three for the three sixty. But see with Forza Horizon four you can get like you can get cars, you can pick any. You can try them out and then obviously if you get the money you can buy them. And then like say for on um, PS I think it's on Xbox, and then New Speed Heat. Which is, I think, it only recently came out not long ago. Yeah. Um, but like you can, you can get cars on that and stuff, and it's actually kind of good to play, to be honest. You can just get cars, make money, and also you can raise the police on you um, sometimes, and you can get a heat. If you get like a level heat five, you can do an objective and you get more money to buy cars. Mm. It's actually kind of cool to play. What's the one I bought um, on PS4? Um, payback. Payback was it? I think it was. And what's what's Rivals? New Speed Rivals. And yeah. now you get well, to that be was a, PS3, I think. You can, yeah, you can either be a police officer or you can be a normal person. So, Payback, and what are you on about Heat? heat. Is that better than That's, Payback? Um, it's not, it's not as good as Payback. You can get money by cars, and Payback's basically the same. So you can compare them, but they're just going to be just combined. It's going to be the same, basically. Mm. <coughs> they're all going to be the same. It's ne they're never going to change, probably. It's like, like Forza Horizon 4, Need to be Heat, and Thingy, um, Need to be Payback. They're basically all the same because you can buy cars, yeah. you can probably do races that give you money, like that. But Need to be Heat does that. You, can, you have to do races and get all the money, and then you can buy higher cars and that. I think there's only so far you can go with racing games because yeah. Need for Speed, like you say, done. This was, this was the 18th game in the series, and this was years ago. This was 2011. Yeah. So, I mean, how far can you push a, a racing game? Because they mm. did uh, Need for Speed Shift, yeah. which was strictly racetrack. Uh, Underground, which was street racing. Yeah. Uh, Hop Shoot, which again was street yeah. racing, but like police chases. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, destruction. And most wanted, that was story based, wasn't it? Yeah. That was um, 
building your rep up or something daft like that, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what it is on Leaf Speed Heat, that is. Is it? Yeah, you have to build your reputation up and you can get higher cars. Yeah. And plus you can do like objectives as well, which you can get like the best cars, like um, obviously you can get like Nissans, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, um, McLarens and all that. Mm. And you can just do like objectives <coughs> for them. But obviously I find it's a good game um, on Xbox. So obviously it looks, it looks a good game when you're playing it, and obviously you have to you have to like work your way through the through all the races to get all your money up, and it's like it, it, t it takes it takes time to get, get make your way through it. But obviously there's some nice cars you can get that you can buy. Obviously, um, and then Forza Horizon, that's a similar game, but you do I think you can do some races and then you don't do any races. Um, but it's actually kind of a, a particular game to this video. So, I know you can't compare them because they're, they're both. They're, I think they're both on. They're both on the same console. Yeah. But obviously, it's not. It's a different gameplay on it. That it's different to. But this one, you can get different cars as well, can't you? Yeah. I mean, you start off with a, a fast car, but I suppose yeah. you can get like really fast cars. Mm. Which I find kind of fun. <coughs> Get, like, different cars on it, and yeah. Obviously, work your way around it. Well, I yeah. suppose it gets more challenging as you go through the game. You need a faster car, yeah. It's been such a long time since I've played this one, but I, See, I hate I, it. I go on really enjoyed road. this. I hate it. The drift, there's not much drifting, is it? No, I mean, it says like drifting, but it's yeah, like seeing yeah. the car spins out, then it's, it's not the best. Like, you want to you be going full pelt and just tap the brake. I'll be able and to slide drift, around, yeah. but it, it just doesn't seem to do it. Mm. Obviously this, this game probably is good, but like now with, if you compare it to other games in, the, in these kind of years, you, you're not, you're, you're not good as, you're not better than the new ones that are out now, are they? No, well they always try and improve on gameplay and graphics. Yeah. I don't know, some some old games are better than new, in my opinion. Right. That'll be it then, eh? We'll uh, yeah. just do a, a last last word on it. Um hang on. Hang on. <coughs> so that's it, we've uh, looked at three games, only a short little look at them. Uh, the Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, Need for Speed to Run and Battlefield Bad Company 2. Do they hold up well, do you think? Uh, yeah, Need for Speed is one of the best, probably. Yeah. Um, Batman comes last because um, I don't like the way you try to find your way around objectives. Yeah. Um, and then obviously Battlefield comes second because of, it's got good graphics, good gameplay, but then just it. Just when you're shooting, you just the aim is just going up and you just can't control it. Yeah, it's, it's, hard. it's I find it a very sluggish control. Yeah. On that, you know, I'm used to, well, even Doom from 1993 or whenever it was. That yeah. controls better. You know, you need some fast pace, like yeah. uh, more modern shooting games. You can roll your thumbs and it it, it reacts quick. That seems very slow. Yeah. Um, you're right with Batman though. It was. The navigation wasn't that easy. Yes, you've yeah. got a map. You can always look at your scanner. map. Yeah, your scanner. But sometimes you just need that thing on the screen just to say you need to go that way for your next next objective. Obviously, with Need for Speed, it's good. Yeah, Very um, good. still. Just I, the I think it still stands up today. I mean, it's only nine years old. Yeah. But um, the drifting is just not not the best. Yeah, no drifting. Obviously, you get on the corner and you you control it, but it's just not. It's like it's going to seem straight forward. Yeah, it's it's, it's just bad. Yeah. I mean, the like the hot pursuit was great because you like say you can just tap the brake. Yeah. And you slide and you could control that slide, but this one you tap the brake and it does nothing. It just sends you straight forward. Yeah. So you you've actually got to slam the brakes on. Just to, to get around the corner. Yeah, just to drift. Um, but overall, still good games. Yeah. I think I think they still stand up well today. Um, obviously. New graphics make uh, everything look better mm. and make these look a little bit dated now, but yeah. I think gameplay wise, really good. Yeah. Yeah.